moving on, let's go to the Land of Oz, uh, the manga, number one. Okay, on my note paper, I wrote art, manga, manga. story. Yeah. These are great notes that he takes, by the way. I I like the story because well, I mean I've I've watched Wizard. Of, I think everybody's seen Wizard of Oz at least once in their life. Yeah, it scared the um, crap out of me when I was four. But I'm, I'm sure everybody's seen it. But you know, everybody was gonna make you carry on a lollipop pop out of the sewer. <laughs> no, no, the winged monkeys just scared the crap. <laughs> but not, out of me. but not everybody has probably seen Return to Oz. And when I was little, I owned that videotape and I've watched it all the time. And the characters in this story and kind of the world it's set in is very reminiscent to Return to Oz. Not the musical of Wizard of Oz. So if you like Return to Oz, the movie, I could easily see you getting into this book like I did. I thought it was very good. I thought it was very cool how it was the Return to Oz kind of world and the setting it was in. I thought it was very good. I like seeing where all the characters came from that were in Return you know, to Oz. You were, you were asking me when you started to read it, uh, Glenda, Good Witch of the South. Yeah. And you thought it was the North. Yeah, I thought it was And the I'm North. like thinking, maybe for the movie they changed that. Like for the movie they changed the silver yeah. shoes to ruby slippers and whatever. Just because it looked better on film, maybe that's another thing that's sure. that's different. Sure. Okay. In the original film, the difference between silver and ruby shoes would have been dark or light. No, because no, this was, it was in, in color. color. That was like the first the movie. Very original. Yes. I, I could have sworn no, no, the no, original was no. all black and white. No, no only the, the first beginning. like my bad. Only the, the first. Stuff, I, I, I knew it. I knew it was just like real life. Yeah. Oh yeah. Up until then, yeah, everything wasn't black and white. Go to Kansas. It's probably still the same. I've seen pictures. <laughs> I, I thought the original was all black. Oh, if you're from Kansas, bad. no offense. Yeah. We love you. Leave no, us your I, comments. Tell us your I, I really do think if you like the Return to Oz movie or the previous uh, Oz manga that was before this, because I have some of those and I liked it too, I think you'll definitely like this book. I hate Kansas. Prove why I shouldn't. Wow. Anyway, what does Kansas have to offer? But I mean, it wasn't. It was not. No, it, was very it, it wasn't terrible, and I think it really took a lot from the stories of L. Frank Baum. Yeah. Especially in the way some of these people talked. That's the part that I didn't like was the way things were worded just was not natural and flowing. It sounded weird. And it could could have been taken directly from Ah, Terrence, how are you doing? No, not that Philip. No, not that kind not of Canadian. But no, if, if well, oh, no offense, we love you Canadians. If you're from Canada. Oh, no, dude, I love Canada. Don't speak it's like America's us. hat. Don't speak for all of us. In Mexico, it's America's goatee. I thought that was Florida. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not touching that one. <clears throat> Florida is America's way to on Cuba. <laughs> anyway, moving on. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, I guess you're done. Yeah. So you're done with this. You're going to tell me when we're moving on. Yeah. No, we're Let's moving on. Some more. I didn't like this one, but I'll find something to talk about. Let's go. They all got big eyes. <laughs> no, actually, that's true. Though. The, the art was <laughs> your typical. Manga. Typical manga. Yeah. I mean, there's... Just, kind of says in the title. That's like on the Simpsons comic before trying to critique the artwork on that one from last week. Okay, it's a Simpsons comic. Art, duh. Looks like the show. Sure. This is a manga comic. Okay. What's the artwork like? Manga? <laughs> well, I mean, some manga is different than others. But this, this didn't have any of the motion lines or no. anything like manga but yeah, sometimes anyway. Yeah, and nobody, like, the little boy, his hair didn't turn blonde. He didn't spin like six panels. Ah! <sighs> I didn't see any giant robots or laser guns or anything like that. That, yeah, typically. Well, he did assemble yes. the pumpkin thing. Yeah, I know. But that's no. But that was out of wood. He made a sawhorse. Yeah. Yet the horse had no saws. Well, nor ears to begin with. So anyway. So. All right. So that was uh, the Land of Oz, the manga. Let's move over to Top Cow and Broken Trinity, number one. Bit of a witchblade tale, eh? Mm-hmm. I like the art a lot. Yeah. The computerized painted uh that does it for I can't I can't think of what other kind of art to compare it to. Uh, you can just call it sexy and be done with it. <laughs> well know. it's about like I don't know it's sexy, but it, it's about like painting. I mean yeah. literally when they do it it's 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 very well done. It's yeah. very like, detailed but not distractingly detailed. Yes. It's oh god. You can tell wood is wood, but you don't see every grain. Like no hero. Yeah. yeah. This is almost something where it's the kind of artwork I would like when you see the big, the big Frost King. That's the kind of artwork I would expect to either see like a in a Dungeons and Dragons book, like good artwork. Yeah. Now, I'm not being mean, but not the fourth edition artwork. The fourth edition artwork is not up to this quality. In case you're getting confused, I'd expect to see artwork like that because that was very good, solid artwork. Or 
in the past, I've seen a couple people who play Magic. Some of the artwork on those cards yeah. is friggin' okay. awesome. Right? It, it's like that. It has a very fantasy art feel. To yes, it. it's great fantasy art. Yes. I, I tell you who the artist is, but I cannot pronounce when his name. kicks back over it's, to... He's good. Yeah. Whatever his name is. When it kicks back over to the present day, it's the same art style. It just it loses something to me. I told you. Probably because there's a lot of colors. Fan, fantasy creatures, maybe. Less of those. I think in the modern world, he has it so much like, darker in tone. And On the guy, on the old flight. guys, you can see like every ring of chain mail, the veins, every line on their arm and stuff, and it's not overdone. And then you get to the present day stuff, and it's like... I'll tell you this, though. Not, I mean, art's good, yeah. But this was another one of the... Art's good! <laughs> Oh, this makes sense. Right. This, <laughs> like the the this was like art. No, 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 no. The art was very good, but this is one of those ones where I have not read any uh, Witchblade or Darkness stuff before, and I didn't feel lost in this. I didn't feel lost. It was a good jump. Today, our cameraman is about to have a heart attack. Hold stand firmly behind statement. Are I, good. I was gonna say, and it's one of those. I, I, I thought the story was good. Will I continue to read it? No, but it was good. I didn't feel lost. I didn't feel like who are these characters? Why do I care? Oh, you I didn't like, like this art either. Shut up. Not you, him. I know. I thought that was good. I like the art. <laughs> yeah, I, no. I like the story. I mean... I I agree with Red Hulk. Art good. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So that's who the Red Hulk is. Oh. Me? Actually, your face kind of has angry. proportions. Look angry. Look no, <laughs> oh, angry. Wow. Not stupid angry. Oh. Happy angry. There you go. You do have that huge head that the whole thing has, though. I have a huge head. Uh-huh. It's because of my awesome ego from the people loving my reviews. Bring him down a notch. That's it. Mm-hmm. Just saying. I like but I'm, I'm kind of intrigued to find out more about the, the flaming the amulet woman thing at the back. At the I have an idea. Leave a comment bashing on Nate, and you'll get a free Coney Waves comic. Oh, wow. I have one that the pages got ripped out of for graphic paper. I have, too. Keep shoving them in somebody's box and keep throwing them out. <laughs> But anyway, it was it was good. I like I enjoyed it. 